I've been waiting a while to do this review because these things caught everyone's attention at after this year and uh, it's been a little while just getting them to market but they're out now. I picked up my first packet about a week ago and I've been fishing it a little bit just in the estuaries chasing uh, flathead and brim and just messing around with it to see how she swims. So I've got some footage here, just check out some of the action. You can see the way that the rolling uh, hood wings there just imitate perfectly a small squid and then the tentacles down the back end just work perfectly just to pull fish in and that's what I've seen when I've been fishing them. Probably the best way to fish these is really light. You can see I've got a fairly heavy jig head there which you might use if you were chasing uh, reefies and they're going to just cane the snapper and all the reef fish out in the blue water. These things are just so versatile and the techniques that are going to come about from using these things are going to be really exciting to follow. You can rig it a whole load of ways. I've got a few different options here that I've just tricked up myself. One of my favourites is going to be using a little needle you can pick up from a chemist just to run some mono or some braid just in through there so that you can run a trailer or a stinger or whatever you like. That's the little tool there that I use and that helps with a lot of my tricking up of plastics. You can also run them weedless and that's how I got the most action just running it like that with a weighted weedless rig and then you can throw it in and around all your little weedy edges where you're gonna find squid in the shallows. And a slower, lighter weight is a lot more effective. So I was pulling loads of brim in with this thing and they were just nipping around at it. They sort of go for the eyes a bit more than anything. So having a big hook like this, you're gonna miss a lot of fish. It's gonna mean that we just need to trick them up a lot and put little trailers or stingers or whatever we can find to get it to get the hookup rates on these because there's a whole lot of squid to go biting at. The guys that understand where fish take like mangrove jack will take a headshot, take the whole thing down, flat it'll swallow it from behind. It's just gonna come down to what fish you're after as to how you rig it, but there's a few options. I'll just say with the weedless rigs, if you're gonna run them weedless, the plastic is really heavy itself, so you can still cast it a long way regardless of what you're throwing it on, but because of the heaviness of the plastic, it's not very stretchy, so you need to use one of these little twist lock keepers and I'll just get them from the little lure shop. But that's them there, and you just spin that on the front, and then it sits nice and level like that. You can see how I've rigged that one there, and that'll just make it really naturally sit on that hook, on the worm hook as you're dra dragging it through. You can see the little fluttering arms on it, and they just roll perfectly through the water. They're just so seductive to watch, and then the 3D holographic eye there is just amazing. It picks up natural light brilliantly. They're fantastic to, uh, to watch. I think probably the only downfall, and everyone who's started to grab these things has picked it up, is that the heavy plastic is just fairly teary compared to you know the 10x style of baits that are out. So that's the only thing that I think in time they're going to have to refine or work on. These are the packets that, I, that they come in. I'll give you a quick look at it. They're the Chase Baits Ultimate Squid. They're a 150 mil. You can see the little award there from after. So I'll just test with this one. You can see... They do have a little bit of stretch to them, but you get to a point fairly quickly where they'll just break off. I think when you're throwing around for reefies or if brim are nipping at this and that sort of thing, you can just see that, oh, maybe you'll be able to pick this up, that the plastic is fairly soft and it starts to just get little, little wear holes in it as things pick at it. You do get three in a pack. I'd rather just get one really stretchy one that'll last a lot longer, but oh, they're just going to kill it. I think sometimes with a plastic like this, putting up with having a softer plastic to have something that's just going to dominate and be really realistic in the water and perform on those slow days, it's worth doing. God, they're going to create a stir. I can't wait to see what people are pulling out offshore with them. The Chase Baits Ultimate Squid. If you want to see more of the latest lures to hit the market and get some great tips on how to use them, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel.